I'm Austin. I'm Josh. I'm Justin. Have you seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, duh. No. No, Josh? You have it? No, I haven't. Oh, big surprise. Right? <laughs> That's why I put it on the list. <laughs> you know the drill. Uh, give us a rundown. What are Bill and Ted going to get up to? <sighs> Probably an excellent adventure. On their excellent adventure, I'm yeah. going to... I vaguely remember it might involve time travel. I know shockingly about this movie. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, this will be a fun one then. I'm going to say time travel. Okay. I don't know if it holds up or not. Uh, I haven't, haven't seen, seen this in a long time. Same. Is it, can you say if it's 80s or 90s? Uh, right in between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this right at the, the cusp. Do so you know no, who's no in musical it? Intro, uh, I should, but no. Okay. <laughs> Our dress is a little bit of a giveaway. The star of John Wick, Keanu Reeves. This oh, is one okay. of his earlier films. Mm. Um, so what do you think? What kind of excellent adventures? You said uh, a little bit about time travel. Yeah, what are they going to do? Time travel, it? um, I think they're just going to, they're, I don't think they're going to decide to go on an excellent adventure. I think they're just going to wake up Ooh. and like yeah, either adventure. be in an ex, or like be in the past or like they're something zany, like walk into a, a closet or they're going to be, you know, in the past. Oh, one of those time closets and you hear so much have, about. They're going to have to figure out, you know, how to get back. The old classic movie trope. Time that's, closet. That's where the adventure comes from. <laughs> We've watched so many time closet movies on this channel. Have we? <laughs> We've watched Time Closet 1 and 2. We've watched Chrono Cabinet. That was a really good one. <laughs> Uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe's kind of a time closet. Yeah, a little. Well, it's like space a space closet. closet. Yeah. You're, I don't know, it might take place in another dimension. you got to time travel to dimension hop, I assume. Maybe. It's all, you know, spacey. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Come back and talk about it. Because that's what we do here. If you haven't gathered that by now. What were the lines you knew from it, Josh? I know the party on excellent thing. Okay. And like, that's it. That's literally it. Give us a really good one to go into the show. This is the one where they're like, have tattoos of each other. And one's like, what's mine say? Dude, what's mine say? Oh, that's from that movie? No, No, that's a much worse movie that's not going on our list. (laughs) All right, we'll be back. Back having just seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Uh, truly excellent adventure, yeah, in my opinion. This, I think it held up. Yeah, it definitely did. It's been a long time since I've seen this. You had never seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah. You liked it. Now I have. Yes. You liked it. Yes. Whoa, this is like a, a triple rarity. threat. It's Better a than Encino Man 2019. 2019 Encino Man. You predicting a new one's going to come no, out? No, quote. Oh, no. better than Encino Man, quote, 28. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll put that on the Blu-ray release. When it... <laughs> better than Encino Man. I mean, it was the same pre- you know, same kind of time travel premise, but way more... different. Was it the well, same kind of... T- it was like... the premise then that it was involving time travel and two dudes. Um, you know, they weren't as serious about it. It was very upfront about how silly it was. Yeah, it was very tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. Uh, yes. The premise is that Bill and Ted are in a band called Wild Stallions, and they don't know how to play music at all. They just talk about all the crazy good stuff they're going to do, but they don't even know how to play. They're guitarists, and they say all they need to finish their band is Eddie Van Halen from fucking Van Halen. Yeah. What do you want? Like a triple guitarist band with nothing else? This is the weirdest dream I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, this was filmed in like 85, 89. 86. Yeah, it came it, out in 89. Yeah, it was delayed. That's why when the teacher speaks uh, and he says like the school 88, you can tell it's kind of dubbed over because it was originally 87 when it mm-hmm. was meant to come out. Um, this is California. These are some surfer dudes. It's, <coughs> it's Keanu Reeves <coughs> right before Point Break. This is one of his first full-length feature films, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. It started as a stand-up act, Bill and Ted did, 
and originally, get this, there were three members. There was a third, Bob. And he, it says on the trivia, he lost interest after a couple of performances. This could have been an a 80s Three Stooges act. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are failing history class. The teacher says they better pass this presentation or uh, they flunk. And it's not so bad for Bill. Bill will just be like a surf bum, right? Bill will open up like a taco stand or like a, yeah. sh it's, it's heading into the 90s. Bill will open up a shave ice stand and just be just fine for like mm -hmm. two decades. Don't worry about Bill. Uh, the, there is a new Bill and Ted movie in production right now, I think. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. These are just produ I'm predictions for me. I watch Bogus Journey. Uh, that's the one I remember that. not liking as much. I don't remember much. that very much at all. No spoilers. I won't give anything away. I remember more of it. It got weirder. But this one gets pretty weird. Mm -hmm. They're in history class. And what do we got here? Um, they're, they're trying to explain who all these dudes are from history to their they're teacher. They're really bad at it. They haven't been paying attention at all. That was their stand-up act that it originated as, was they would try and talk about history and modern-day events without having a clue what they were actually talking about. Yeah. All right. So... We don't actually start in school. We start in the garage because they're recording with this old school gigantic camcorder. Yeah, they keep switching off, like one filming and one performing, and then one filming and one performing. And they're recording like an intro to their band, like an early music video. They're the Wild Stallions, and I love this. The garage door opens up, and there's a sign on the outside that says "Quiet, please." Re Wild Stallions recording in progress, uh -huh. and you're like. They don't know how to play yet, but they had that sign made. They have a giant, they have their logo painted on the back yeah. of the garage. He has his own sweatshirt of their band. And they're just making so much fucking noise. Why would you need to be quiet outside the garage door in this suburb of Cal like Los Angeles? It's pretty great. They're professionals, Austin. They will be. Someday. I can guarantee it. Because one more time slip back, it doesn't actually start in the garage. It starts... 700 years in the future. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll stop doing time skips back because this is the real start of the movie. We're going back to the future. Oh, what if we reviewed this movie backwards? No. <laughs> uh, we're in the future, 700 years, like I said, and everything is inspired by Wild Stallions. Yes, everything. They all have based their entire life culture on, uh, what is it they say? Uh, party on and be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they switch it up, which I like. No one's too strict about it. You can tell this rock and roll dogma isn't like, we'll behead you if you do it wrong, right. which is a pretty good philosophy. Like they all do the thing where they're playing air guitar, but if you play it to the east instead of the west, you get decapitated. Right. <laughs> so, this would be the equivalent of basically nothing in our history. 14, 19, around there. We could skip a little further ahead to when, like, America was starting to be colonized, when, like, Columbus got here. That's 1492, the end of the century. But, yeah, this is a, a huge historical leap is all I'm trying to get at. That yeah. They're still relevant. Yes. The future has this huge copper diamond that's coming down. But once we find out later in the movie what their music actually accomplishes, then you're like, oh, well, yeah, then mm -hmm. no wonder... Yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible. There are things, obviously, that influence our day-to-day -day life that go back further than... Yeah. Well, so who knows? Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Uh, George Carlin, one of the greatest stand-ups of all time, talking talking about predicting the future. Listen to some of his stuff now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it is still relevant. Mm -hmm. But he's in this playing Rufus. This movie predicted the state of Pornhub with uh, him being into his stepmom. And having a hot stepmom. Greece predicted the <laughs> state of Pornhub. Yeah. That's why they wrote a story about it. I know. <laughs> it's the tale as old as time. I'm surprised Disney hasn't. <laughs> Disney hates moms, and they haven't even fucked one yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what would the music numbers in that one be like? <laughs> yeah, uh, Bill's stepmom is like his age. Super, if, uh, maybe a little older. Super cute, blonde, uh, married to his dad, who... Okay, is it Bill's dad or Ted's dad who's the cop? Ted's dad. Ted's dad. Uh, Ted's dad's crazy. 
Yeah, he's an NRA guy. Not just that. He's a police officer. He's an NRA dude. And he's just hanging out at home, decked out in NRA gear. Yeah. He's got the cap. He's got the, like, what do you call those? Uh, members only members jackets? Only jackets. He's going to the NRA club and, like, having dinner and smoking friends, afterwards with some brandy. He's friends with uh, Rusty Shackleford. <laughs> King of the Hill reference, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you know... I'm a lot like Dale, <laughs> but not in that way. I'm not going to have gun meetings at my house. Pocket sand any day, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Just because we live in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, his dad's just walking around fully geared up in NRA shit at keeps, home. Basically, the only thing his dad's personality trait is is threatening his son with Okay, if he's going to fail. School. Yeah. If he's going to fail, he's going to go to military school. I was threatened with military school whenever I was younger. Okay. My parents would do it whenever I was like a teenager and I was acting up. They'd be like, if you don't straighten out, we're going to send you to military school. But I uh, I Googled it Ooh. and saw the tuition cost and I quickly realized it was an empty threat. Way to date yourself, <laughs> Googling stuff in school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you, you called their bluff? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I was... And I was such a... Such a, a rebel bad kid. You almost said bad boy. You could see it in your face. You almost said I, I was not, a bad boy. I did not. But I'm being completely like I never broke the rules. I know. But... Uh, that, that's I okay. skipped school once. Yeah. And then I went home. What age? Or what grade? Sorry. Uh, high school. Like junior year. Okay. I skipped school once, but it was freshman year. And I did the same thing. I went home and played some video games. But like... Four fucking elderly people called the cops on us. My dad came home for lunch early and <gasps> caught me in my closet. That's even... In your closet? How'd he hear you? So, uh... So you keep and, going. It was me and Andy. <laughs> okay. Which was my old friend from high school. And, uh, we... Full story. Our, what time, yeah, did we you, like, to, leave we, school? We left school, like, right before lunch. And we were gonna go to the movies. But we went to my house to call the movies and get my money and stuff. And we were gonna go... And then my dad Were you aware up. of this at the time, Josh? No. My dad pulls up, and I'm like, shit. I decide to hide in my closet. Damn it, Andy. Andy <laughs> what did Andy do? <laughs> Andy runs into my backyard I know, and climbs Andy. <laughs> over my, my backyard fence. Oh, okay. And decides to walk away. I had a car at this time. I had a 1987 Camaro. Ooh. Um... Uh, and it was parked in the what alley. What color? It was white. It was oh, parked in the alley. That's sexy. Okay. Um, it had like a one of those like ripped black, black part, like the spoiler kind of, not really the fins? spoiler. Fins? Yeah, the fins. Okay. It had black fins, but the rest of it was white. And it had like a gold stripe. Oh, what? Yeah. That is sexy as hell. <laughs> it was a shitty car though. It Who ran, cares? It ran so <laughs> terribly, but yeah, it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I parked it in the alley so no one would see me at home just in case you right. know, something like this happened. But... My dad was eating, he was going, and as he left, he said he saw Andy walking out of our alley. Yep. And then looked in the alley and saw my car. Yep. And then went back home and yelled at me. How did he, no, you said in the closet, how did he find you? Oh, I was in the closet hiding from him. Yeah. I was just in, standing in the closet. Why he would he walk out of the alley? It's Andy. He lived close to where I live, he was going home. I guess. He didn't think to take a back way around. Didn't think to stand in the alley for ten minutes? No. <laughs> <laughs> you lived with him, you should know. <laughs> uh, no, but how... how it's, it's like Halloween. I was just standing in the closet. But did he check every single closet? <laughs> I don't know. I guess he just kind of guessed. Wow. He was like, where would he be? And he like, where's my room? There's so many closets. <laughs> no, our house is Why would big. just Andy be walking out of the alley? Yeah. Yeah, and he saw my car parked back there. Once he saw yeah, Andy walk like, by. Yeah, he's here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he just and he stole his he car. Hunted, and he hunted you. He you out like Michael Myers. <laughs> it's never occurred to you. You're like, how did I he did pick he? the right closet? <laughs> <laughs> like immediately, and he like came home, closed the door, and went right to where I was. Whoa! See, <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> Not normal. <laughs> Pretty funny though. <laughs> Uh, mine's not that exciting. I just w left school like right in the morning because you could walk away from school. It was all open air school. We could walk to the store and get like snacks and lunch and come back. I could we just didn't to go come to lunch. back. 
So we went to like the beach and hung out, and uh, we went to my place, and then we walked back to school and went to like fourth period out of six. And immediately they were like, you weren't here the rest of the day. Report to the office. And I'm like, we're here now. Isn't that enough? And they're like, no, we have to call your parents. <laughs> I didn't get in any trouble with the school. Just oh, my parents. that's nice. All right, back to this movie. <laughs> it was a good one, so we should probably talk about it. But it was it's relative. They're, it's a high school comedy. Yeah. Um, they're threatened if they don't pass. Ted has to join the army and Bill has to get his shave ice stand. Uh, or his like longboard rental shack. Yeah. Who knows? Well, they gotta come. They gotta stay together though. The no, fabric of the because world depends the on it. Ex oh, okay, I'm saying they wouldn't have if they failed. Yeah. So George Carlin, he's in the future, and he's like, yeah, yeah, like you said, we gotta keep them together. You can't fail this because then you'll get sent to military school. Mm -hmm. You'll get separated. You'll, we will get separated. I only got threatened with military school when I was really young, like elementary school, because they thought my grades were good. And I remember being like, oh, we're going to pull back on that a little bit. Yeah, yeah I remember realizing that, like, hmm, I'm probably doing a little too good at great. I'm going to throttle the brakes here. I'm going to go back a little bit. Uh, so you ever, you ever play hooky, Josh? No. No? No. Not even for one period? No. no. Oh. Did you ever call in sick when you weren't really sick? No. Everybody does that. I was the kind of person that went to school... Like, an hour and a half before school start, stayed after until, like, 5.30. Oh, yeah. I did that for a bit, too, when there was no place else to go. Yeah, like, home I did sucked. that, too. I remember it, because I was with you playing yeah. Magic the Gathering. And, Ooh. and uh, what was it, like, Unreal playing Tournament? Unreal Tournament, Unreal Tournament, Tournament with, with Mr. Fancher. Class. Okay, yeah. I would... I would. I don't even go to school, but I'd stay after school to play some Unreal Tournament, <laughs> like an old leg yeah. land party room. Yeah, 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 that's yeah exactly. How it was. Yeah, it was a big room. Oh, I never got into Counter Strike, but uh, I was real big in Unreal Tournament, and also like Quake Three Arena, all those really fast-paced kind of twitchy shooters. That old man was way too good at that game. <laughs> Played a lot. <laughs> he's he's like teaching you from memory. Yeah, what do you think he was he's doing playing? during class? <laughs> What do you think two plus two is? Headshot. He's the God like. He's the history teacher. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is? Tell me. No, uh, this history teacher. Oh, we find out Missy used to bang the history teacher. Yeah. They're at home and the dad's threatening him with military academy, and she's like, "Are you talking about Mr. Henderson?" Yeah, I don't know what that was about. They had to keep a staff. I don't know. I think character. like their whole her whole character was that like. She was like supposed to be she, promiscuous. Why? No, she got hot for old men. Yeah, like she she wasn't important though. Like why? no, we really no, don't her get only any importance backstory. Was that like everybody was into her because she's hot? Yeah, I guess that was more funny back then. Exactly. Yeah. That's like, one part time, that really doesn't age well. Every time she said anything. Older men, the whole audience just burst out into laughter. Yeah, like, how could she be into him if he wasn't rich? I wish I knew a mom. Freud's that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet he isn't. Ooh, that's something he talks about before he leaves. He doesn't counsel Bill. He counsels Missy. Yeah. <laughs> or the dad, or the history teacher, or everyone in this town. Um, they get home that night... And it's really, it's a bummer. They can't practice anymore if he goes to military academy. George Carlin appears in a phone booth. It's totally Doctor, Doctor Who. Who. Yeah. 100%. This, uh, I read the script originally was a Volkswagen, like, bus. The van. The Twinkie van. And that would have been cool. I would have dug, that would have been more original, I think. Why do you think they went with that? Just because it was Doctor Who? They wanted to do the homage? It told us. Slash ripoff. They, Back to the Future was before this, right? So exactly. That was just been a Back to the Future. They reference. didn't want to rip off Back to the Future. They didn't care about Doctor Who. It's across the pond. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I think a Volkswagen bus would have been cooler now. Everybody would have been like Doctor Who, but like not knowing what they were talking about. Because yeah. <laughs> now, like it, like Comic Cons and stuff, you could have an, a cool extra Bill and Ted van, <laughs> and who knows what it would look like. It'd be better than the, the Scooby-Doo machine, the mystery machine. I mean, that's pretty cool to design. It is. With, like, the bench seats line. inside. It's a good design for a van. It is. But I think this one could be pretty cool, too. Uh, they didn't go with it yeah, because they thought it'd be a Back to the Future ripoff. They go with Rufus on one adventure. He's like... After they meet each other. After they meet themselves. Yeah. Okay, because they're at the Circle K. 
And there's a pretty funny line here. That strange things are amiss at the Circle K. Strange things are amiss at the Circle K. Pretty relevant if you got Circle Ks around, because strange things are often amiss. Um, the special effects on these oh, time machines. Before we go to this, there was one other weird thing where... Uh, so we were talking about how Ted's dad was crazy. Bill's dad is also crazy, because... He goes into his son's room when his step when his wife is in there with him and sees like gets all turned on by her bending over and like gives him son money to leave to have sex with his door just closes wife boots him out of the room in his son's bed. How much would your dad have to pay you to have sex? That's in the bed? question. How much money did he give him? <laughs> It looks like a 20. Let me ask you. Uh, I'm asking you, Austin. Oh, 85? How much money my, would your like, dad have to give that's you? That's not my amount. I'm saying $85, like probably when this took place, $1985. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, no, like your dad shows up right yeah. now with someone uh -huh. and was like, I want to have sex in your bed. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and he's not going to wash the sheets afterwards. I, I have to do it. <laughs> I, I assumed, yeah. It's not the middle of the day either, like it was then. It's, you know, 8.30 at night. Okay, You have to okay. go fuck off for, like, three hours. Well, I have a pull-out couch. I'd probably Oh, get... you'd stay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I wouldn't sleep on the bed afterwards. Okay. I'd have a place to sleep. No, I wouldn't just close the door and settle in for the night five feet away. <laughs> Well, let's move on unless we're all going to come up with a number. Because you know what? You come up with a number, and then your dad's at your house at 2 a.m. Yeah. So be careful. <laughs> Make sure that number's high enough. <laughs> really think about it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so they're at the Circle K. Nothing's going on. Oh, this is another stoner, not stoner movie. This came off mm -hmm. my list. So, first time, garage door pulls up. I mean, the amps sparked, but this garage billows smoke. Second time, at the Circle K behind the dumpster, just kind of sitting there in front of the store. Uh, George Carlin's time machine plops out of the sky. It's a, it's an American phone booth, at least. It's not a to it's not like a red painted TARDIS. <laughs> right, it, yeah. Oh, how mad would they be at Comic-Cons if that caught on and there was like a TARDIS and then a red oh, TARDIS yes. got set next year? You're by the Bill and Ted's because you're both time travelers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, and they show up. There's... I don't know. I imagine there's a pretty big overlap between fans of this and fans of Doctor Who. Yeah. Do you think Doctor Who is going to be in the new Bill and Ted movie? I really hope so. The female Doctor Who they got now? Mm. Yeah, that I would... haven't watched any of the stuff with her in it yet, but I also it out. haven't watched it in a while. You really don't have to catch up on that Peter Capal... Cap... Cap... Yeah. Capaldi? Capaldi. Capaldi? You... Ugh, it... <laughs> it was bad. I think the last one, I... that last episode I saw was like with dinosaurs. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. I mean, Doctor Who can pull off anything. <laughs> That's the trick. We've talked about Doctor Who can... It's always aliens, but yeah. you never know. It did not pull off anything. <laughs> yeah, the writing's got to be there. Yeah. Um, they show up, and they're like, how do we know it's you? Hey, think of a number. What is it? 69. Whoa! The, I mean, if it, we ever met versions of ourselves in the future, the number would 3. be... 3.154493... No. <laughs> pi? Like, the 60th decimal of pi? <laughs> no. What would it be, Justin? What do you think? Uh, 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 I don't know. I do like pie. <laughs> Probably 420. Huh? 420! Yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, how am I ever going to remember that? <laughs> I'm screwed in a time travel situation. <laughs> uh, they convince him to go with Rufus. He's like, this guy's an excellent dude. Check it out. Give my love to the princesses. I mean, do whatever he says, even though he's gonna leave in five minutes. Oh, that's a that's a bummer move. That's yeah. weird. They go bummer back. for them and also a bummer for us because we got less George Carlin. Yeah, yeah. That's was... kind of a theme of the movie. Like all these cool dudes show up, but then they don't get to do anything. It's like all the stars are being paid by the minute. 
They, they're never on screen unless you need them. It's like, whoa, Billy the Kid, you could stand in a phone booth for two hours. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into a dangerous situation. Stay here, Billy the Kid, who has all the guns. We're too sure for dudes. We're getting away from a, like a big major heist. Let's not have Billy the Kid be the getaway driver with the wagon horses. Now, to his credit, Socrates did a really did. good job. He did. He was hauling ass. Yeah. I liked how they all like buddied off, kind of. Like Josh said, this is like a great D&D &D adventure. <laughs> like, yeah, it's basically just a big role game. <laughs> Where do you want to go next? Oh, let's go get Napoleon. <laughs> All right, the DM says, okay. <laughs> so they go, and they get Napoleon. They just pluck him up out of the battlefield. He, he like, falls. He falls in the time stream. Time oh, circuit. you're right. He's, like, confused yeah. at what they're doing. He goes to investigate, this and he proves, gets, like, pulled in. Because when the ship leaves, it leaves a tiny square rectangle where it was that it has, like, ten seconds you can jump through. Mm -hmm. This proves that you don't need to be inside the ship in the time stream to not die. There right? are no time travel. This nope. is one of which them. I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're least... very clear about that up front. <laughs> There's none. No, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> you this can is meet one yourself. Point where it totally you don't have to be that. in the machine. They, that was the first you thing don't they get did with time diseases. travel. Is like, well, you're meeting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <And> they, <laughs> like, I'm glad. Yeah. Stuff. There's no rules. Yeah. That's refreshing because yeah. you don't have to. You have. Because Encino Man tried. Oh, it did. And failed. No <laughs> rigid guidelines then. Yeah. Um. So after Napoleon kind of sneaks a ride with him, George Carlin Rufus is like, you're on your own, dudes. Because like, it's a movie and we're not being paid anymore. You have no, it's the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. They have to they have to be given an item of immense power and then left to fend for themselves. So where do they go next? New Mexico 1879. Yep, they find Billy the Kid. <laughs> so they Have you like, ever been to the Billy Kid Museum? No, have it's you? It's in the state. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I forget which town it's in. Some yeah. weird names town. I've heard a lot of towns claim to have Billy the Kid's home in them, but he did travel a lot, yeah. so who's to say? Um, they're in a saloon, and they're just like, oh my god, it's Billy the Kid. And Billy the Kid's like, you guys want to play a game? Because <laughs> yeah. he jigsaw. Kind of. Because he's like, win or die. Or win or yeah, he's like, if I, win, yeah. if I win, I get to kill you. And they're like, okay. And he's like, Really? Yeah. <laughs> he is kind of Jigsaw Old West. That's a prequel I'd watch. Like <laughs> old timey Jigsaw. Like steampunk industrial era Jigsaw. That would be gnarly. Oh, that'd be too gnarly. <laughs> Loading coal into a bin and it's like reach into the fire and find the key before kills, it melts. He kills someone with like one of those like old timey uh, like uh, dildos that they said treated women's hysteria. Oh like, yeah. They like cranked. <laughs> sure. Why not throw anything in there you want? <laughs> There's an outlaw ten paces away from you. I sewed a gun behind your eye. <laughs> it's a derringer with one shot. Oh, uh, this has potential. <laughs> Guess the has there are two machines. train cars heading towards each other at 64 <laughs> miles an hour. You are tied between them. Here's a riddle. If you... <laughs> So much potential. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Jigsaws were around, because otherwise you'd have to give him another name. Like, Cobble Piece. <laughs> cobblestone. Cobblestone. Oh, I'm Cobblestone. Wanna play a game? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Medieval Jigsaw would be kind of cool. He could work for, like, this Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Medieval Jigsaw would just come up and ask you a nonsense question, you'd answer incorrectly, and he'd shoot you in the stomach and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Medieval Jigsaw has a gun? Or not Medieval. Uh, what are you Midwest. Oh, okay, yeah. Midwest? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Howdy y'all, I'm from Howdy Idaho. Idaho. Bang. Bang. Midwest Jigsaw's gonna do the same Old thing West. Jigsaw does to you and feed you to pigs. Old West, like in Billy the Kid time. There you go. We jumped around as much as Bill and Ted for that joke. <laughs> Why wouldn't Jigsaw in medieval times have a gun? What's he doing there anyway? He could have brought one. No, he's not time traveling. It's his ancestors. Oh, okay. He comes from a long line of Jigsaws. This is Assassin's Creed Jigsaw. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jigsaw didn't die in the third movie. He goes into the animus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Caveman Jigsaw drop boulder. <laughs> you want <to> die? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln killed his stillborn child. It, it, he sat in the seat, which triggered a lever, which pulled none a curtain the, behind him, which none of the things... started a mannequin, which looked like John Wilkes Booth, and shot him in the back of the head. <laughs> Want to play a game, Lincoln? <laughs> Lincoln failed the jigsaw experiment. <laughs> yeah. I, d Deary, I'm sure glad I got free and we get to go to the theater tonight. Me too, husband. Ha 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 ha. His wife was it's just Billy a man. Mary Todd, you're <laughs> acting quite odd. <laughs> My name is Billy the Kid Jigsaw. <laughs> I've tied four horses to four of your appendages. Hint. One of them's not your hand or feet. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he has until the end of the yeah. play to solve it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, if they took Jigsaw and put him throughout historical events. I've hidden a bomb on this ship. If you don't solve this riddle, not only will this be the largest ship to ever sail, It'll be a Titanic failure. <laughs> In one hour, your ship will hit an iceberg, <laughs> and everyone on board will sink. <laughs> There's only one lifeboat. You thought they were disasters, <laughs> but they were jigsaws. Every 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 disaster in the world is just jigsaws. Oh my God, the pieces the are coming bird. together, like the trailer line. The meteor that killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 the, the, the entire Ice Age is just Jigsaw. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The Great Chicago Fire. <laughs> I've hidden another bomb aboard this Hindenburg. I mean blimp. I, mean blimp. I didn't mean to spoil it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What would Jigsaw think of San what, Bernardino, what 1985? Would, what would Jigsaw do? These malls are awesome. There are two killer robots roaming around this mall. <laughs> and a bunch of teenagers working and having a lot of drama and stories and interpersonal relationships. I mean, Shopping Mall was basically a Jigsaw plot. They all, you know... I was talking about the other one, Fast oh, Times, oh, that was okay. filmed there. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is the same mall, I think. Yeah, same mall. The gigantic oh, mall. Oh, and this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it is. It's got an ice skating rink in the bottom. This has got to be a mall either in LA or Houston this was filmed at. Nowhere else has this big of malls. I know the Mall of America, sure, Minneapolis. Who who all do they do they gather once they start gathering these people? So, Napoleon is the first, and they By put accident. him with the kid. And they're like, don't let him out of your sights. Yeah. Which is pretty great. That's why we get the side, this like, this B story of the kid and Napoleon going, doing stuff. Odd choice for side story. You'd think they'd put him with someone less murderous. <laughs> like, I know he's small, but he carries like 20 knives on him and he's not afraid to stab nope, you. Nope. This dude took over a big chunk of the world, <laughs> as do some of the other people that they gather. <laughs> uh, so yeah, after they get Napoleon babysat, they go and they pick up Billy the Kid. Yep. Then they go back and pick Socrates. up Socrates from uh, ancient Greece, and this is where we get dust in the wind. They it's filmed in Arizona. Oh, okay. This so was not in California. What, what, what mall? Uh, I'm looking. Okay. Uh, they convince Socrates to come with them because they're... Phoenix Metro Center. Ooh, I wonder if that's still there. We gotta go. Ooh, check if it's still there. They have a movie mall tour. That would be pretty fun. We can wear matching shirts and act like we're people that should be there. <laughs> We could give guided tours. This is where the person fell off the balcony and head splattered. <laughs> Excuse me, are you allowed to be here? Yes. <laughs> I love that idea, but just doing it, like, everywhere you go on vacation, like, you try to find a place and just, like, get people to do, like, just try to do uh, tours spontaneously. <laughs> With totally false information. <laughs> you dress up like a tour guide. <laughs> You have, like, a little trolley. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little whistle. That's probably t what tour guys have. Segway, maybe? Oh, isn't that embarrassing? When you go to, like, a big city, and there's a whole family or two or three rolling around on Segways, and it's just as fast as walking, but they're on Segways. Mm -hmm. oh. I can't say that I've encountered that. Okay, when you go to a city, I've seen it 
definitely in like Salem and Boston, probably on the West Coast too. But bigger cities will have like tours and they won't want to walk <laughs> because it's the whole family. So they'll all get on a Segway and have hey helmets Josh, on. Hey Josh, have you seen Wally? You mean the the, the He's seen Wally? Movie? Yeah. yeah. No. 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 Whoa. I've seen like the first like ten or fifteen minutes. It's of it. good. Like I've the heard twist. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Watch that. Um, Are you it, not gonna put it on the list? Nah, you've seen. Can I put like you know the, the last five Saw movies on the list? You put whatever you want. I've on the only list not seen a couple of the Saw movies. You say that, but then you're gonna see Saw four. You don't want to see Saw four. <laughs> I've not seen a lot of movies. I've. I've, I've I've seen a lot of movies I haven't want to see. <laughs> Does that mean you want to watch more that you don't want to watch? No. <laughs> all but right. I've accepted that it's going to happen. Oh, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Keep them off the list. <laughs> the trash movies. <laughs> uh, they pick up Socrates by convincing him all we're dust in the wind. They pick up dust, and they blow, and they say, wind, and they say, Dude, to him. And that imparted the English language to Socrates. No, he still couldn't speak the entire movie. He understood pretty, pretty well, well what was going on. Pretty him, well. him and Billy the Kid just connected on such a deep level. Somehow. Like, <laughs> That's the spinoff I want. I wish they'd showed that more. Yeah. I wish we saw all of the Phoenix people more in this movie. Yep. Uh, after Socrates, they go to uh, medieval times. Yeah. No, they just no, go they to the go princesses. To oh, the princesses. They don't take anyone from this time, no. but they almost get killed. They were going to take the princesses, okay. but then they almost this got killed. Okay, this is crazy. They put on full suits of armor, which usually takes a crew to help you with. Yeah. And then they're moving all slow with them. It's like, kick dying. So they're fighting. And they reenact fighting. Star Wars. Yep. That's sick. He kicks Ted down the stairs, and it's like, whoa, sorry, I killed you, dude. Yeah. Like, and then he gets Damn. stabbed with a sword, and he's like, whoa, you got killed, dude. Yeah, and, and I was like, out of the only in yeah. time travel can we resolve a death like this, but they didn't even use time no, travel. He fell out of the armor before. He bounced out of the armor when he hit the bottom of the stairs. You think after showing that you can meet yourselves and nothing will happen, they would have used that a lot. Like, by the end of the movie, it's got like seven Bill and Ted's running around California... Just doing all they the They kind of do that at the police Sorry. station. We've got a helicopter going over us. It's pretty loud. It's the second time today. We had some drama here earlier. <laughs> Whole crew of SWAT. Alright, it's gone. Um, yeah, so they... Alright, they, they didn't don't find pick... us. It's all good. <laughs> We're recording in secret. <laughs> where we are, movies are not allowed, and talking about them is even more illegal. <laughs> Uh, this turns into like a paranoia conspiracy podcast. <laughs> it might as well be. Yeah. Uh, they yeah he bounces out of the armor. The armor gets stabbed, and he's like, "See if there's anyone else here." And you had a problem with this, right? You can understand them. Yeah, they made a big deal, like, "Oh, Napoleon in his subtitles because he speaks French and soccer is a subtitle too." And then. Evil England, and they speak perfect English. They just have British accents. My theory is... For no reason. That, like, it's not like they do anything here. Right. I mean, they get the princesses, like, way later, but, like, They whatever. meet them. Mm -hmm. uh, my theory is that they lost the subtitle guys really early on, and that's why oh. no one else spoke was, the rest of the movie. Reason. Like, well, Sigmund Freud spoke. No one who needed subtitles. But, but he could speak English. I guess, yeah. Yeah, Lincoln could too, yeah. Yeah, nobody who needed Sometimes. subtitles did not didn't speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Socrates, huh. uh, Joan of Arc. So the, Joan of Arc spoke French. Okay. Joan of Arc is praying, and they yeah. they're like, "You want to come with us?" And she's like, "Yeah." No, he doesn't say. He just shows up and just he like reaches his, reaches hand, his out. hand out. And, and you gotta leave. imagine this is a day or two before she gets burned, and she's like, "Fuck yeah, I'll time travel." She's as down as Billy the Kid was, yeah. and he's down. But she was down to go back for some reason. Uh, and she doesn't know that she's gonna die. She didn't go back to her time period. <laughs> you think they would have told her? Yeah. You think like, they dude, would... you're totally gonna get burned. <laughs> yeah, you'd think Lincoln would be like, nudge Do you think they yeah, want yeah. Lincoln too? Oh. <laughs> they all gotta get sawed eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saw time comes at That's the, the end. That's the part you don't see. They go back and they're in like a jigsaw device. <laughs> Joan of Arc, this is God. No, see, Wanna play a game? No, see, Jigsaw, with the Jigsaw, French? Jigsaw has his own time machine. I know. And he is like, he, uh, he's like one of those fixed points, get more into Doctor Who, so every time he gets someone in a, in a kill game, yeah. they become like a fixed point in history, so you can't go back and change it, <laughs> depending on if they live or die in that one instance. 
there were originally planned to be many more people from the time when mm-hmm. they had the, the Volkswagen bus. But once they get Genghis Khan, they kind of turn the time machine sideways and ride it like a canoe Cruise through the time, the time stream. stream yeah. so they got like ten people at this point. Who yeah. all did they get? They get Billy the Kid, Socrates, Socrates. Uh, Joan of Arc, Napoleon, Napoleon Sigmund Freud, Sigmund Freud, Lincoln, Beethoven, yeah, Beethoven, Lincoln. Yep, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we see Napoleon. He's at this like Chuck E. Cheese establishment. And they bring the biggest bowl of ice cream you've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And him and... He's hanging out with three kids going around L.A. Only no, in the 80s. Three kids are hanging out with him. Yeah, only in the <laughs> 80s. They finish off this bowl of ice cream and they get an award ceremony for it. Yeah. Uh, Napoleon is just chill with everything that's happening. Yeah. He loves the future. They go bowling. And he doesn't like bowling. Well, he, fu- he sucks at it. Because he, like, slams on the ground on his face. And he's like, shit, shit. Wham, 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 wham. Yeah. And then the kids ditch him because the script said so. <laughs> well, because like, he's a loser. There was no, he, like, he started cursing. Like, let's ditch him for no reason. I and think he wasn't away. much fun. I like, guess. He, yeah, he was very curmudgeon the whole time. And yeah. Kind of, like, they could have showed that a little more, I guess. They could have. But, like you said, it's it's not even a B. It's like a C yeah, thread. it's like a C thread. Yeah. <laughs> um... The third thing we see they with Napoleon. They wanted some kind of tension, and the tension was that Napoleon was lost. So yeah. that's why it Which was wasn't there. much of a... Like, the... the kids ditch him. He stands outside. Bill and Ted get back, and they're like, well, where's the one place he would go to? Waterloo! It's their water park yeah. there. And also the Battle of Waterloo. Yeah. Uh, we he's just, we loving it. He's loving it at the water park. What because joke? Because the Waterloo joke. Water joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole audience gets it. <laughs> uh, he's loving the water park. He's like, we get this whole great montage of him skipping in line and like pushing kids out of the way. Going down that one slide over and over again. Yeah, and this is the 80s when you could go down a backwards or head first. It's like... When he was straight up doing like a somersault. One oh, yeah. I was really like hoping that this movie would get to a point, prop Napoleon, where like he gets some... There's a big misunderstand... He like kills somebody, right? Or like you know, it's like he sees the slot. I kept it's like that's a monster, like a Don Quixote thing. Yeah, but I no, it's like no, this movie's fun, dude. But like none of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he water slides. <laughs> it's not Encino Man it's, where yeah, the it's not truck pulls movie. and you get it's the Mastodon. Yeah, it's an excellent, it's excellent adventure. It is excellent. <laughs> that's the first movie I think you've ever called excellent on this podcast. <laughs> Probably yeah. That's awesome. Just wait till we get to Saw Six. <laughs> Excellent. No, it's not. I know. No. I know. I'm not looking <laughs> forward to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to watch them just so they can't go oh, on the man. show. Justin hasn't seen Oh, them. screw you. <laughs> you want to see them in the twice? background? <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it with you. Just put it on over there and play yeah, video games well over here. We might as well just watch here. it and talk about it if uh, we're going to do that. You, okay. <laughs> then you got to pay attention. <laughs> uh... They find Napoleon at the water park. They drag him back. And here's where we get the scene I like to... Okay. Sometimes I like to play this game. You know DVD menus? Mm -hmm. What would you call this scene? I'd call it Mall Madness. You know how they have the little scene descriptor? That... Oh, oh, that's gone now. That's gone. That's an olden time. Imagine if that was your job for a while. Someone got paid to do that. I come up with chapter names on (laughs) DVDs. (laughs) I came up with a really good one for uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What is it? I don't know. Oh, good job. No. <laughs> you gotta come up with <laughs> No, this one's Mall Madness, because they go to the mall, and every character gets into a little bit of mischief. Uh, Joan of Arc is doing aerobics. Mm-hmm. She kicks the woman off stage and is doing it faster. Beethoven takes over the music store. <laughs> oh, and this is what I don't get. He's tearing ass on these Yeah, pianos. everybody loves it. That dude invites him, the dude who calls the cops on him is the one that's like, hey, you should try this out. I think it was like implying that he was like taking up too much time. He was doing it too long. Yeah. He was there for three hours just to... I don't don't really know what Joan of Arc was doing. Like, was it a joke that like, oh, she would talk aerobics or it's just because there was a big stage and she saw all these women 
Like, I'm gonna... I think that was poorly written, is what I'm saying. Like, how do we shoehorn her in? Well, she's a warrior, so now we'll have her... Do jazz or sex. And later we'll have her in a sword fight. That's what, that's what she would do, right? Yeah. Sure. They had a list of famous people, and they were like, we'll figure out what they to do with them. They didn't portray King as Kong very well, either. What did Freud do in the mall? He hung out with... Oh, in the food court. They were trying to pick up chicks. With, hitting with on Billy chicks. the Kid, and yeah. And this is what I want. Billy the Kid and Socrates just smashing throughout time, like, picking up chicks. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is a funny duo, and then Freud ruins it. Yeah. Like, they're into it. They're like, oh, look at the old one with his sandals. <laughs> oh, look at the, the buff one with his cowboy outfit. And then they're like, oh, look at the old... German one with his coke habit and mother addiction. Socrates was the only character they ran to that had like the realistic reaction I thought ever. Constantly yeah. scared. Yeah. Like Bill and Ted show up and then just, he just gets this horrified look on his, <laughs> his face and backs up. Yeah, but then I'm like, oh, that's he, gonna be the whole. But movie. then like the next time he's like fine because then he's friends with Billy the Kid. Well, yeah, because they just go, dude, and then he just puts up the horns. Two seconds later. Yeah. They teach him how to speak immediately. They're throwing yeah, Shaka. Yeah. They're doing dude and awesome and bro. Billy the Kid picks up their vernacular very quickly. Oh, yeah. He's like, like but then they stop paying him and he st- says nothing the rest of the movie. Uh, everyone gets in trouble in the mall. They all get arrested by Ted's dad. Because this is the tiny town that they all live in. Gigantic With a giant LA. fucking mall. Yeah. <laughs> Very tiny jail. There's only, like, one jailhouse, and they all get taken to the one that Ted's dad works at. You know, that town with a population of 500 with the Mall of America in it? Yeah. With an ice skating rink in the middle of a mall in the desert? Like, Arizona, what were you doing? <laughs> the 80s. God damn. You got too much money. Uh... The better schools. <laughs> I don't think they played up the police scene enough. No. Not when they get caught, but when they get processed. They do the thing with Link. He's like, oh, I'm old. Here's my birth date. And mm-hmm. They don't do, do that with any they do it's questioning the cop. They do one mugshot with, like, Socrates. They could have mm-hmm. done a whole thing. There feels like the was cut for content. Genghis Khan was, like... Oh, his mall scene he was fun. His mall scene store. was fun. Like, he was, he picked up the bat, and then he got, like, the football Helmet, gear the skateboard. and the skateboard. He's pretty good on skateboard. Yeah. Full front flip athletic. hippie jump over this, like, cop. Shin splints one of them. Takes out another with, like, an aluminum bat. Uh, Bill and Ted go there because they're trying to break him out. They're like, oh, bummer. We're going to fail our history test if all these guys are in the, like, in the clink. It's not like we can just give a report like we do anyway without them there. Okay. Can we talk about this school report? This is one of the shittiest things I've ever seen. They keep cutting to it. You have to yeah. stand up in front of the entire class and talk. Ta- oh my god. Like... You're right. And tell your history exam? Right? What the fuck was is this? Was that a thing? No. And this thing had so much production value. There was music effects, lighting effects. Uh, okay, back to And the... he was just sitting in the corner, that teacher is sitting in the back giving everyone F's. <laughs> tearing into him yeah that was brutal uh bill and ted go to the police station and his dad's like no i'm not letting your friends out they caused a lot of trouble and they're like man if only we had a time machine and this is there's a lot of witty like time play in this even time though play. they're doofuses this is one of this is probably my favorite bit in the movie because this is one of those movies where the main characters are kind of goofy but the world is also a little goofy yes. i think um, they're like, what are they like? They're like, I wish we had my dad's keys. Well, okay, we'll do the like, performance. We, don't ha- we can't steal my dad's keys we don't because he lost them two days ago. <laughs> we- so we go back, oh wait, we'll do our performance, then go back two days, steal your dad's keys, and hide them. Where, Where are we, we going to hide them? them? Right behind the sign. And they're there. <laughs> and it's like, oh, we can't forget to do that or else they won't be there. <laughs> And they totally have the keys. They go and they put a trash can on his dad's head. Yeah. This is wild stallions rule. They break everybody out of jail and go to school. Bill's dad, of course, is in the best mood ever because he's Bone and Missy. Like, he's just living at home smoking bones and Bone and Missy is what it looks like. He's got, like, a ponytail and a mustache. Always got a record on when you go over there. <laughs> the fridge is full of soda. Like, they make a point to say. Yes. Like, if your friends want to hang out. Bill's house uh, house life seems way better than He's got Ted's. the hangout house. Like, I'm surprised they don't practice at his house. Maybe they do. We don't really, we can't really tell. But 
the dads meet up. They go into the auditorium where the performance is about to start. Mm -hmm. And I think after they stole the dad's keys, they went back another few days and practiced this with the lighting guy. Because this performance was pretty on point. Maybe this. Maybe the reason everyone is failing is because this was a test of all of their classes. <laughs> they had to do theater and public speaking and history. Whoa! Like all He's like, we're getting, we're getting a, we're getting cut with budget cuts. So we have, we have to, to do, do all, all of your once. finals at once. <laughs> you didn't see the math portion, but it was pretty boring. Yeah. <laughs> there was just a big whiteboard up there. I told you you need math. The history teacher's shouting at them. The classes all take place in the auditorium because all the other rooms are... Uh, <laughs> They've sold the other rooms. <laughs> There's a fucking Whataburger in the old art room. <laughs> Welcome to corporate America. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good school. <laughs> you get a Whataburger anytime. <coughs> Still cost you. Mm -hmm. uh, this performance they give is pretty sick. They have all the people come up and give a little display. Like I said, Joan of Arcs is really weak. She's just sword fighting with Bill as Ted like reads some info about yeah. her. All Freud, more, ooh, that must really be boring. Beethoven. Really Beethoven's. Beethoven's Beethoven's cool. Beethoven did. Freud did some stuff. Uh, Napoleon had like a map. Yep, Genghis Billy Khan's the kid doing a cool... them and shot a gun. Yeah, shot a <laughs> light out. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> this was the kids. 80s. No one was scared. You could Nobody shoot a, barely, people barely reacted. You, you could shoot, shoot a, a gun, gun into school <laughs> for dramatic effect and get away with it back then. Uh, Genghis Khan comes out with a huge weapon and Quite is spinning out. around like a sword on a stick. Uh, he's doing all sorts of like moves to like Beethoven playing. They all start moving together. Freud has this like huge thing where he analyzes Ted, and Ted sits up and he's like, "Whoa, yeah. you're right." It totally blows your mind. Bill is like, no, I don't need it. I just have a mild Oedipus complex. <laughs> he totally knows what's going on. And his mom's there at that point. So yeah, she, she kind of like, it cuts to her face. And she she's smirks. just like, mm. Yeah. His dad's like, what? <laughs> uh, they get A pluses. They do. They get A pluses. This is whenever Rufus comes back. We forgot they do go to the future by accident. The time machine breaks. They're stranded in 1 million B.C., and they meet Encino men mm -hmm. uh, who, like, throw rocks at them and are chewing bubble gum because they... They left it there. ...use that to fix their spaceship. Yeah, and the, uh, like, little metal containers of chocolate pudding and gum. That's what they use to fix the spaceship. Right. And uh, when they get it working again, they dial, like, O for operator or assistance or whatever, and it takes them to George Carlin's time, where mm -hmm. this all started. And they're like, party on, guys. Be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm. And they're like doing the uh, windmill guitar strum that they made iconic. They're like, everything's based off of you. This they don't learn this yet. No. But that rad music they hear, and that like power ballad that I'm going to look up and put on my playlist, that was pretty sick. Mm -hmm. Swelling. And then all the citizens comes out, and they're doing like the guitar thing. And they're like, good luck with your journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have given them some cool future food. Did you hear about what happened at the White House today? No. Uh, oh, the yeah. The, the Burger King and Wendy's and stuff. The basketball team, or sports. I'm sorry, I don't know them. The sports team came to visit, and there was just a buffet of cold, soggy fast food. Because <laughs> the government shut down. But they were still, like, lighting candles. Yeah, and, like, serving them on silver platters with, like, fancy dishware and stuff. <laughs> Even though he owns a restaurant just down the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. Uh... This performance goes off without a hitch. Abe Lincoln wraps it up. He's like he wraps Here's it up speech. with their saying. The whole audience cheers and stands up and applauds. Uh, a pluses all around. And they take everyone back, including Joan. Now we don't know when they take them to. That's my point. Mm -hmm. Joan stays with Billy the Kid and becomes George O'Keefe. Yeah. They warn. Uh, they warn. Lincoln, but nah. they're like, you gotta not, like, make it obvious. Like... <laughs> and he lived another ten years. <laughs> In the original timeline, Lincoln, like, died before the Civil War, yeah, and it went yeah. way worse. Okay. So... Maybe that's why the society is so iconic. It's not music, it's the fact that they saved all these historical exactly. for one time. No, like we deaths. learn why they're so iconic. Because their music yeah. causes the world to align with what all if, the other cosmic and Hey, and here's an idea. What if that's just easier for people to believe than they saved people with a time machine? <laughs> 
their music was real good, okay? Shut up. That's our society now. <laughs> it was but it gives them the ability to communicate with all life. You're right. From, Alien. From aliens to, to pets. Yeah. Pretty rad stuff. Uh, they drop everyone off somewhere <laughs> in time. And then they uh, go back to their garage and they're like, man, you know, if we're going to be the world's most influential band, nay, the galaxies. We should probably learn how to play music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then George Carlin got paid ten more dollars and came back. Hey, right? <laughs> with the princesses. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, he shows up with the princess. He's like, I rescued these two right whenever they were about to get sold, like married to those awful people, so you could have girlfriends. Joan of Arc's still dead, but <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's. I not. checked on the way here. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> Billy the Kid changed his name to Governor Albuquerque. Oh, Governor Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque's way older than Billy the Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln hired a body double and just hid in the woods. Yeah. But yeah, they get the he princesses. Be Lincoln became the next president. They get and you know how I can prove that? Who's the next president after Lincoln and what did he look like? <laughs> right, exactly. It was Lincoln with a... With a mustache. Without a... Beard. <laughs> or with a beard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was Abraham Lincoln. Because they're listing off all these fake names. They're like, Bob Genghis Khan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need some steel toe boots. You keep walking on my lines like that. <laughs> uh, what is, yeah, they can't think of me for Abraham Lincoln. Uh, they just say, like... Willie or Matt the kid. It's really silly. They get everyone's name wrong except for Lincoln. Uh huh. They come up, they try to. Rachel of Arc. Yeah, they try to. They don't. I think it's him, like, not wanting to be like, hey, we got all these historic figures in the time machine. He's oh. Like, these are my friends. Because uh, they're at Bill's Rachel of Arc. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought they just forgot because they were dumb. No. But no, that makes more sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> Genghis, Bill Genghis Khan. Khan. You thought they forgot Genghis Khan and yeah. added Bill to the front of it? Yeah. <laughs> That's no, good. they just couldn't come up with any fake names. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's almost as sad. <laughs> uh, George Carlin brings them these guitars. Uh, not, not my style. Mm -hmm. The guitars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they <Girls> had... <laughs> the princesses were just fine. <laughs> yeah. They have no headstocks, they're tiny little travel bodies, but whatever, they can rip on them. Yeah. He's like, I want to jam with you guys. And they're like, do you know how to play? Well, everyone knows how to yeah, play. Yeah, he's like, I came from, I just told you, I came from a society that's built upon music. And he shreds. For your music. <laughs> and this has to, got to break his heart. Because... The princesses get on like drums and keyboard. I love that it sets it up like they're gonna be like good at it. Like she One, picks two, it up three, and she's like, four. "Oh, what am I gonna do?" And they're like setting it up and they're like, "That's not how you tune an amp." And I'm like, "Yeah." Austin. They just crank it all to eleven. <laughs> they take the keyboard and crank every knob to, knob to eleven, and they suck. And this kills George Carlin. You can see his face die. It's like if you met Jesus and he turned water into wine. But it was Mad Dog 2020 or 5050. <laughs> He's like, it's got the bling. <laughs> and you're just like, it's not the same. Oh, oh you're so trashy. <laughs> but Or if you met Jesus and he was like Republican Jesus. We can't use Jesus twice because he didn't exist. I Come know. on. <laughs> Let's just say, I'm just saying that God. What it was if like. you met God and he was Republican. <laughs> not the Christian one, though. <laughs> Because uh, we can't go too far, or else we'll start offending religion. <laughs> Shrugs. No. Uh, any thoughts on the movie? Yeah, pretty it's great. Pretty, it was great. I enjoyed yeah. it. It was a fun time. Pretty diverse cast. Like everybody said, I really wish they had more screen time. Like some of the characters. Mm -hmm. I really wish Billy the Kid was there. So Socrates they, was there. They had him on guard duty almost <laughs> Hey, Billy, watch the time watch machine. Like two less historical figures and, like, elongated history scenes. Yeah, I really liked the misdirect in the medieval times. Because yeah, they're like, grab like the that. Iron Maidens, and they don't. They just put their heads on blocks. 
And it's like, oh shit, is a dragon gonna come and well, save him? I think he was like, <laughs> throw him in the Iron Maidens, and then they're like, yeah, Iron Maidens, and he was like, just execute them. <laughs> they must love pain. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it looks like they're about to get their heads cut off, but then an old dude wheels their fucking time machine into town, and you're like, Billy the Kid, what are you doing? And uh, the axe comes down and it chops the rope and sets him free. And the executioners are both Billy and Socrates, who was also down. Like, mm-hmm. really good job, everyone. <laughs> this was an efficient party. This is wherever he gets away on the... Yeah, he yeah. runs getaway on the carriage. And this is like a and d party because yeah. like, whenever they got there, they split up immediately. <laughs> it was like, okay, we're going to go infiltrate the castle. You guys, we're going to stay here and play catch. <laughs> yeah, this ball. they have a Nerf football. <laughs> he teaches Socrates. And the DM play. just looks at the encounter and goes, okay. <laughs> we put armor on so we won't get hurt. It's like, okay, roll a dex check. You fall down the stairs and die. <laughs> but... You don't die, you pop out of your armor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's one of those silly things a DM puts in there so the story can keep the going. The DM keeps trying he to died. kill them. And he's like, no, we, we hit it as executioners and we saved them. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for it. 20s! And it's like, they, the guards chase after you and try to kill you. Race, we get in our time machine. machine. Roll for it. <laughs> 20s! <laughs> and he's like, they need some dice with 20s on <laughs> The DM hasn't noticed yet. <laughs> that would be... They have ones and twenties. <laughs> uh, who was more likable, Bill or Ted? Everyone else in the movie. Exactly. Which is unfortunate. Like, they were good. I liked them. But everyone else kind of stole the show. Uh, but they weren't forgettable. I don't right. know. They had they character. Were, they were both yeah. kind of the same. Yeah, they're basically interchangeable. Yeah. I'd rather have... Bill's home life than Ted's. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Um, oh, is that that's how it ends, right? Yeah. yeah. He gets in his time machine. He leaves, and he's like, "Oh, first, could you sign these for my kids? They're something future tech. It's their CD. It's their, their CD. album. Well, yeah. it's music. It's like it's obviously still on CD. Seven hundred years in the future, it's Austin. Music yeah. of some sort. <laughs> Time's cyclical. Tom's a big flat that's CD. So you can tell it's the future because they're moving on the album cover. You're right. Like Harry Potter. Oh, and we said that he that uh, that uh, Rufus brought these two girls for them to have girlfriends. But let's be clear: whenever they met these women, it was just Ted that went and hit on them. Oh yeah. Like both of them at the same time, mm-hmm. and then Bill was like, "Yeah, man, I'll just." Set I'll back, back you up. I'll let you have both. That's cool. <laughs> oh, it's another two for Ted Knight. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wingman me, bro. Whenever George Carlin shows up in the future, what was it that you said? He's like, sorry, these are both for Ted, Bill. You must remain a virgin. Ted's getting laid tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, Bill, but the fate of the universe depends on you being a virgin. <laughs> like, Bill, what day is it? Tuesday. That's right. <laughs> Maybe when it's Bun Day, you'll get to. <laughs> hey, Bill, I know this is out of character, but, like, this time I'm going to take the redhead. <laughs> what? And the brunette. <laughs> and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's young Keanu Reeves. Of course. He can do what he wants. <laughs> uh, good movie. Recommended for me. Recommend. All yes, way. absolutely. Uh. Should I put the second one on the list? Yes. Up to you, yeah. Man. The third right. one's coming out. Put the second one. All right, yeah. we'll do it. Uh, no spoilers. It gets weirder. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. It gets bogus apparently. Oh, Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's the one I remember a little better. I think I've seen it more recently on VHS. It's a good name because if it's bad, you know, it's, it's in the title. Yeah. <laughs> they covered their bases. Yeah. Bogus. <laughs> I hardly tried on this script at all. <laughs> How, <laughs> Bill and Ted's mediocre journey. Bill and Ted script the second movie. They're like, how do we make it bad? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> how do we make it bad? That's what all Hollywood executives yeah. are thinking at one time or another. Oh, all right. Yeah, we did it. We talked about it. We talked about it good. Mm-hmm. That movie's done. It's done. In the hole. Finished. Partied on. And be excellent to each other.